Hello there geographers and welcome back to another topic review video on the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going into the last topic review video for unit 6. We're going to be looking at unit 6, topic 11, challenges to urban sustainability. Now while this video might be the last topic review video, it is not the last unit 6 video. I also have a unit 6 summary video that goes over all the major concepts in this unit. And not only does the video cover everything you need to know for your AP class, but also the national exam, it also comes with study guides, answer keys, practice quizzes, and much more. And it also covers all the other units in AP Human Geography. You can find a link to this awesome resource in the description of this video. But first, let's go through this last topic review video, then go check out that resource, and then make sure to watch the unit summary video. That way, you don't miss out any information that you need to know for your class. So like we've talked about on this channel before, sustainability is all about being able to use our resources today to satisfy our wants and needs, while making sure that future generations can do the same. And when cities experience things like urban sprawl, they risk their long-term sustainability. Cities' landscapes start to destroy the natural resources they depend on. As cities continue to grow and expand outwards, they may experience more costs, more services that will be needed to cover the growing city, which will increase taxes, reduce the amount of affordable housing, and cause stress, reducing the standard of living for people in the city. We could also see health concerns arise in densely populated areas. As cities continue to grow and expand, if they don't utilize urban planning correctly and create a sustainable city, we might start to see the population grow at a faster rate than the infrastructure can keep up. This could reduce the amount of education, healthcare facilities. It also could reduce the amount of clean water, sewers, or even electricity to the residents. As we might start to see more infrastructure lack, which could lead to informal settlements, slums, housing shortages, and other issues that would impact the life of people in the city. Another issue that comes up in large urban areas that are not sustainable is traffic concerns and long commute times, which not only increases the frustration of residents living in the area, but it also increases the amount of fossil fuels being used and the amount of air pollution, which increases the area's carbon footprint, reducing the air quality for all residents living in the area and reducing the overall health of citizens. Speaking of pollution, we can see that heavily densely populated areas that lack sustainable measures oftentimes lack public transportation, which means more people will drive to work, to the grocery store, or to get the goods and services they need, which means more cars on the road, which in a low densely populated area isn't the end of the world, but in a heavily densely populated area, we see that more air pollution going out into the city, which creates smog and lowers the overall quality of air for all residents. We can see similar things happening as as well with the water supply as more and more pollutants get into the local lakes and rivers and oceans. All of this decreases the standard of living and health for residents in the area. Using things like smart growth policies, new urbanism, green belts, and also green energy are great ways to try and increase the standard of living for people in a city and also make their cities more sustainable. Cities can also rezone and redevelop land that has been polluted and is no longer being used. For example, we could look at brownfields, which is land that's been abandoned and has been left polluted by the former occupants who used to reside there. Brownfields may have been used as industrial work, a former landfill, or even a gas station. Typically, the former occupant left the land contaminated, causing it to remain empty. Cities can work to redevelop this contaminated land and rezone it to create new communities in it and better utilize their land space, and all the while creating a more environmentally sustainable city. Lastly, we could also see cities promote urban sustainability by using farmland protection policies, which set restrictions on development to prevent further destruction of farmlands, or cities that implement urban growth boundaries to prevent the further expansion of a city through urban sprawl. And just like that, geographers, we're done with another unit of AP Human Geography. It's kind of funny, it seems like just yesterday we were starting Unit 1, and now we're on to Unit 7, and we're almost done with the course. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, make sure you answer the questions on the screen right now, and check your answers in the comments below. While you're down there, of course, too, consider subscribing and liking the video. Great way to say thank you for the videos, it makes sure that I can make more videos in the future, and make sure you don't miss the Unit 7 videos. Plus, don't forget to check out that Unit 6 summary video. It'll help you in your class, and also on the national exam. You can find a link to the Ultimate Review Packet in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, Geographers. I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you guys online.